A killer asteroid is coming. We don't know when it will be coming to us, so let's be ready. This is what Bill Nye explains. This is on space.com by Mike Wall. It comes after the planetary defense asteroid impact exercise that they had ending on Friday. They started with the potential of an asteroid hitting over New York City of a 1% probability that was increased for them to a 50% and then it increased to a 100% probability that it would be an asteroid impact. And it was a tabletop exercise. Uh, there was NASA involved, ESA and other space agencies, FEMA and other official agencies as to how they would tackle this problem to protect the Earth and the area. And from what I understand, from what the report says, they failed to stop the impact. There was no way they could uh, save the Earth from this. Now the good news is we can do something about it. The thing is, uh, how fast will, be, will we be able to ready ourselves to do something about it? Uh, people who are too complacent about asteroid threats, uh, that's for Bill Nye's liking. A lot of people uh, laugh at this, but unfortunately we've had many, uh, we have proof of this having taken place on our Earth just by looking at the number of asteroid impact craters that we have all over the place, all over the Earth. Uh, people are too complacent. The former TV science guy, Bill Nye, currently serves as CEO of the nonprofit Planetary Society. He warned that catastrophic impacts like the one that uh, extinguished uh, the dinosaurs, put an end to the, you know, the, the extinction of the dinosaurs 66 million years ago that hit the Yucatan Peninsula, are uh, not confined to what happened in the past. They can take present any time. Now the thing is, we're trying to track these celestial rocks, but it does not mean that we get everything. Um, the Earth, he says, is going to get hit with another big asteroid. This is what Nye say, said May 2nd at the International Academy of Astronomics 2019 Planetary Defense Conference in College Park, Maryland. The problem is, he says, we don't know when. It's a very low probability in anyone's lifetime, but it's a very high consequence event. And if it happens, it would be like, Control, Alt, Delete for every single thing. Unlike the dinosaurs, though, we don't just have to sit around and wait for doom to rain down on us. We can do something about the asteroid threat, and we should start preparing for it now, he stressed. This takes a lot of uh, time, effort, knowledge, and money. And uh, it's my opinion that this, they should, as fast as possible, have an international body um, trying to implement such programs. And that, um, for example, as people pay NATO to be members of NATO and, and uh, um, contribute to uh, upholding, paying for the expenses, they should do the same thing for a planetary defense system to protect us from these space rocks. Because even a small one could do great damage. Now, um, the first step is to find the dangerous rock. And there's good news on this. NASA scientists think they've already discovered more than 90% of the potential civilization enders, near-Earth asteroids at least one kilometer wide, or 0 0.6 miles. Um, and none of these mountain-sized space rocks pose a threat for the foreseeable future, but there are a lot of undiscovered asteroids zooming through near-Earth space, and they could do serious damage on a local scale, wiping out an area the size of a whole state, for example, which is terrible. So it would behoove us to get some better detection tools online. Uh, that's why I guess Many space agencies are calling for amateur astronomers to help examine images that uh, space agencies have taken and try to uh, pinpoint 
celestial bodies that are found there. And uh, the, uh, unfortunately, the AI uh, computers that they have, uh, systems that they have cannot pick out such bodies, whereas the human eye can. And uh, there have been, thank goodness, uh, a good number of new discoveries of such bodies that have been done by these amateur astronomers, people that volunteer their time and effort to do this. Now, NASA is considering launching a uh, dedicated astronaut hunter called the Near Earth Object Camera. This proposed mission would scan for space rocks in infrared light, spotting their high signatures in the darkness. Um, NIE said that help is coming soon. For instance, a large synoptic survey telescope, a big instrument set to start observing heavens next year. It would be taking place from Chile and will likely be able to discover a catalog of 80 to 90 percent of potentially hazardous asteroids at least 460 feet or 140 feet in uh, uh, width, meters in width, uh, project team members say. Coordination is the next step after the detection, I said. A big asteroid hurtling towards space would be a global issue, so the international community would have to work together to deal with it. The thing is, they have to start now, because these things go by pretty fast. Uh, let's remember, some of these asteroids were uh, discovered one day before they came over us. And the Chelyabinsk meteor that fell over um, Russia was not even seen. Uh, they say that they didn't see it because it came from behind the sun. All right, but there are so many of those things that have not been seen. He said we'd have to, uh, we have several, uh, we'd have several options that we could use. If we had enough warning time or years, perhaps def decades, we could launch a probe to fly alongside this asteroid, gradually nudging the rock off course via the gravitational tug. And this gravity tractor craft could ideally boost its pull by plucking a big boulder off the asteroid. NASA chief scientist Jim Green said, who participated in the event with Nye. If we were pressed for time, we could slam one or more spacecraft into the asteroid, knocking it onto a benign trajectory through brute force. This is what they're going to be doing with the DART mission. They're going to the um, Didymus asteroids, the big one, the little one, and they're going to be doing that, uh, smashing the air, air spacecraft into the little one, trying to significantly uh, push it off its uh, path, to deflect it, in other words. So, uh, otherwise, he said we could, for, for example, detonate a nuclear weapon on the rock and vaporize a lot of its surface. The resulting mass loss and the flow of material off the asteroid would change the rock's path, experts say, and the shock wave from the blast might do the trick by itself. Nye also mentioned the laser bees strategy, laser bees, bees, as in the biz, biz, busy bees. The laser bees, new thing, I've never heard of that before, which involves sending a swarm of small spacecraft out to the potential dangerous asteroid, and each little probe would focus a laser beam on the same spot on the rock to vaporize material and cause a jet to erupt. And this jet would serve as a sort of engine that would push the asteroid away from its trajectory into a different path. Now, during his portion of the presentation, Green highlighted many things we can learn from asteroids, the time capsules from the dawn of solar system, the carbon-rich rocks that may have helped life get started on Earth, and their potential benefits for explanation. Tapping into asteroid resources could make voyaging spacecraft and astronauts more self-sufficient, as well as improve life here on Earth as well. Green said it's not a matter of if, it's only a matter of when an asteroid will strike us.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.